I'm Sheila Matthews, your human digital sidekick, keeping you plugged in and up to date with the latest online trends, the juice of the entertainment world, and the top stories affecting our lives. We watch the timeline all day so that you don't have to. Downloading with us today is former professional basketball star Lenny Cook. You may know him as a talked about player who at a point ranked higher than both LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony. Today is giving a legendary logged in combo and I can't wait to get to it. So let's get started. There's always intense convo happening regarding Brody James. Some would say these conversations are normally full of unfair comparisons coupled with unrealistic measures. Others would say it comes with the territory. I mean, he is the son of one of the most famous basketball players in the world and a rising player himself. At this very moment, there are Bronny James NBA draft conversations happening. Yeah, those are back again. Prior to his heart issues, which resulted in him sitting out for the first eight games of his first college basketball season, Bronny was projected to be a first round draft pick this year. Being the namesake of LeBron James and always compared to, you guessed it, LeBron James, has hurt and helped in the narrative around the draft potential. When he first returned following his cardiac issues, he scored less than five points in his first game back. Some fans were in an uproar, asking yet again, does he have draft potential or is he just the son of one of the greatest draft picks known to the game? Well, Bronny fought back against that, this season putting up 11 points, six assists and five rebounds in his last game, which was reported as one of his best performances of the year. This showdown has helped restore faith in some fans that a draft pick may be coming, but more importantly, helped his positioning for the draft in real life. What do I have to say about it? Please put some respect on Bronny's athleticism and defensive skill set. He's averaging 5.8 points, 2.5 rebounds, and 1.9 assists while shooting 36.8% while shooting from the field as a current USC Trojan. I'm here for Bronny James, I'll show you better than I can tell you energy, and this has to be extremely tough for Bronny. Let's think about it. He's coming back after literally passing out on a gym practice floor and starting each game since then. I don't think there are too many young players under his microscope that would continue to show up the way that he has. Bronny, we are rooting for you and keep logging in. All right, it's time for our weekly digital scoreboard segment and here to talk numbers and more is the guy known for putting them up on the board, Lenny Cook. How you doing? I'm doing good, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right, so we're a family here. So yeah. you've got to tell the family who you are. Let Logged In know. I mean, Lenny Cook from Lang City, New Jersey, moved to Brooklyn. Uh, most know me for being better than LeBron James, Carmelo Anthony, Amari Stoudemire. The list goes on. I know that story. <laughs> talk that talk. And I know with that background, you know the importance of the push through, right? Yeah, for sure. Lamar Jackson walked into this past Saturday's game against the Houston Texans, just one and three in the playoffs, but things quickly turned around. The Ravens quarterback shut a lot of people up with this one as he led Baltimore in a 34 to 10 divisional round win. Shout out to the entire team also because they work together like the ballroom girls and and Beyonce on the Renaissance tour, in sync and ready for whatever matchup. Unlike the Cowboys, who again disappointed <laughs> fans, and the Ravens in their defense, they were the real MVPs this week. For sure. All right, Lenny. So I know your experiences with the teamwork are extreme, and you were once ranked higher, like you said, than LeBron James. Yeah. So I just kind of want to know what are some favorite teamwork moments from your professional basketball days? I mean, just being a leader, like. Uh, Lamar, he got to be a leader on that field. He got to understand what defense is coming at him and all of that. So I always, I mean, I just cherish those moments as being a leader and people looking up to me. Absolutely. So I think something we can agree on here is dedication. And you're part of some of the greatest times in NBA history. So many moments, so many memories. And I think the right team can help build strong dedication to the game. So I love seeing teams do things like bring it back at halftime or shut up naysayers with games like the Ravens just played. So Lenny, tell us all about your favorite, they didn't believe in me, but God did moment. I mean, it was just my car accident, really. Uh, a lot of people don't know about my car accident, which was in California in 03. Um, and they didn't think I was gonna make it. They wanted to amputate my leg and uh, things didn't go as, as, as they thought they was gonna go. Um, I ended up bouncing back, going to play overseas in Kuwait after, those, after that injury, and 
I'm still here to talk about it, baby. Amen. That's a testimony. How did that injury too and just that whole experience change your outlook on it how you approach motiv- life? It just motivated me because once my kids started wanting to play basketball, I just knew I had to come out that shell, out of that depression from people thinking that I wasn't going to be able to do it again. Yeah, absolutely. And that's an amazing story and testimony. And I definitely want to take more time to get into your story. So tell us about... You know, we hear that you were once ranked higher than all of these people. What were those rankings exactly composed of? I mean, just just going out there performing at a high level. Um, I made sure that every time I stepped out there on the floor, I left it out there every time, 94 feet on both ends of the court. Um, and those guys at that time wasn't ready for me. That's what I felt. You know what I'm saying, and like they deserve everything they, that that they're getting now because they put the work in, and I didn't. Um, I took time off when. And I've learned that when you're not working, someone else is. I know that's right. It's what they say when you sleep, someone else is working (laughs) and outworking you. So I fully feel that. So what's your biggest takeaway from your story that you want people to remember? I just want people to remember that I've I've matured, I've grown up, and I understand that uh, once you do right by others, God will do right by you. Oof, I know that. So we've gotten into a lot of your history and your story, but what's Lenny's day-to-day like now? Helping with the kids, uh, I do a lot of motivational speaking, coaching, uh, training. Uh, I just love sharing my story so kids don't have to go through what I went through and make the same mistakes that I went through. Um, I just a firm believer that if you use me as an example of what not to do, you'll be successful. I love that, taking your story, using it as power, and your testimony to motivate and inspire and help the next generation. Facts. Well, Lenny, thank you so much for joining me and the Logged In family and letting us know so much about you. Logged In family, if the digital scoreboard didn't teach you anything today, I hope that it gave Let Them Say Whatever, Just Keep Getting Better. All right, Lenny, let the people know where they can find you online. Uh, Instagram, I am Lenny Cook. Facebook, Lenny Cook. I know that's right. You said the Facebook handle, too. (laughs) You know where to find him at. (laughs) The 2023 Emmys went down without a hitch and a whole lot of black excellence. Hosted by Anthony Anderson and his mama, this year's Emmys saw some pretty huge moments, including a Martin reunion live on stage. However, to me, the best moment of the night was witnessing the flowers given to black women in various categories. Black women will always be God's gift to mankind and creativity, so we wanted to highlight three moments that we reminded the world of this during this historic night. First up, actress Ayo Debris, who took home an Emmy for Outstanding Actress in a Comedy for her performance in The Bear. Her effortless charm and comedic wit shined through in her acceptance speech, but what stood out the most was her thanking her parents for allowing her to be a beautiful, black, and proud. All of that, let's take a listen. Um, hi, I have 43 seconds, okay. Um, I'm so incredibly grateful for this for so many reasons, Um, but uh, the main one, uh, this is a show about family and and found family and and real family, and my parents are here tonight. Um, I'm making them sit kind of far away from me because I'm a bad kid, but um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for uh, loving me and uh, letting me feel beautiful and black and proud of all of that. Um, I just love you so much. Um, Probably not like a dream to emigrate to this country and have your child be like, I wanna do improv, but um, (laughs) you're real ones. Uh, Thank you so much for this, it means the world, thank you. As the night went on, so did the touching moments. Niecy Nash honestly left us all crying our lashes off with her acceptance speech. So try to keep yours on as you take a listen to this too. I'm a winner, baby! Thank you to the Most High for this divine moment. Thank you, Ryan Murphy, for seeing me. Evan Peters, I love you. Netflix, every single person who voted for me, thank you. And my better half who picked me up when I was gutted from this work, thank you. And you know who I want to thank? I want to thank me. For believing in me and doing what they said I could not do. And I want to say to myself in front of all you beautiful people, go on, girl, with your bad self. You did that. Finally, I accept this award on behalf of every black and brown woman who has gone unheard yet over-policed, like Glenda Cleveland, like Sandra Bland, like Breonna Taylor. As an artist, My job is to speak truth to power 
And baby, I'm gonna do it to the day I die. Mama, I won! Listen, I felt that me to me moment in my soul, but certainly, last but not least, Quinta Brunson, AKA Quinta B, AKA, ooh, he got money, has taken over Hollywood in many ways, but more recently with her hit show, Abbott Elementary, which earned her an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. An award presented to her by the legend, Carol Burnett. Let's take a look. I'm so emotional, I think like the Carol Burnett of it all. <laughs> um, thank you so much. Um, I love making Abbott Elementary so much and I am so happy to be able to live my dream and act out comedy. And um, I say it every time, but I just love comedy so much that I, I, I am so happy to be able to get this. I, don't, I didn't prepare anything because I just didn't think um, oh God, I love my mom, my dad, my <laughs> sisters, my brothers, my entire family so much. I love my husband. I'm so happy I love my cast. Um, I love Abbott Elementary. Thank you so much. Quinta was speechless, but we, the black women of the world, are not for you, sis. From the internet to the Emmy stage, you better go off, girl. I know that's right. Okay, so like guys, I know Taylor Swift is famous, but she's like famous, famous, like famous, famous, famous. Taylor Swift and her decision to date Travis Kelsey has done the impossible. She inspired a new food menu for the Buffalo Bills and Chiefs fans. This past weekend, Swifties and football fans alike who attended the game got the chance to try Taylor Swift themed snacks. A company called Delaware North, which stocks the stadiums all season long, decided to add two new options for the divisional round playoff game against Kansas City. One of the meals was the Bad Blood Waffle Fries, and the other, the Karma Quesadilla. Now, the Bad Blood option is comprised of two feet, you heard that right, two feet of fries topped with buffalo and Kansas City staple foods like blue cheese and barbecue pork. If your choice is Karma, you're taking down chicken tenders, bacon, and pork belly. Look, I don't know, maybe Taylor Swift is honored by all of this, or maybe she thinks it's a bit much. All I do know is Buffalo Bills, a little too much from the Taylor Swift craziness. Please log out. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your host, Sheila Matthews, and this has been another fun episode of Logged In. Listen, I hope you are enjoying the show as much as we enjoy bringing it to you. Be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a chance to log in with us. Thank you again to our special guest, Lenny Cook. It's always great when we have sports history in the building. We'll see you next week at the same time in the same location for the same downloading of your timeline. Bye. Log out. <laughs>